I was going to run an independent t-test or a two-way or a two-sample t-test between whether people were getting counseling or not and see if there's a significant difference in their stress scores, right? So uh, counseling is either marriage counseling or family counseling, some kind of therapy. So the IV is counseling, right? Yes or no. So one means that yes, they are getting counseled. Two means they're not. And then the stress scores are continuous variable, but the stress score was not normal. So I'm not going to run a t-test if the data is not normal. I'm going to run the non-parametric version of the t-test. Let's go. Analyze. Non-parametric. Where are you there? Non-parametric. And I always go to the legacy and simply go ahead and pick the two related. So let me let me get this so you can see it. Hold on a second. Uh, 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 uh. All right, legacy dialogue, and that's you. So you can use K independent samples as long as they're independent, but I just stick to the two independent samples. Click on that, and then we get our box here, and let me move this back up. All right, and your test value is your DV, so stress. My grouping value is whether they're receiving counseling or not. That's right there. Hope you can see that. Let me pull that up for you. And... We used one and two. So we're going to be getting the, the Man Whitney U test. And again, uh, you, there's, there's several other tests you can use here, but we're just going to stick to the Man Whitney U. And we're going to click OK. And there's our Man Whitney test. So it gives us the mean ranks and the sum of ranks. Just treat them like regular means, okay? So it looks to me like the no people have a lot more stress, but let's let's let this thing do the heavy lifting. And according to the Man Whitney U test, it's a, if it's a two-tailed test, right? If you're not picking one side over the other, then it's not quite significant, right? The sig value is 0 0.088, which is not less than 0 0.05, so you do not reject the null. So officially, this would be no. There is no significant difference in stress scores between the people that get counseling and the people that don't. But if I had changed the question to say something like, I expect people that are not receiving counseling to have higher stress scores, that would make this a one sample T, I'm sorry, a one tail T test because I'm picking a side to be higher, right? No counseling, higher stress. If I said it like that, then I could divide that by two the sig value by 2, and that would give me 0 0.044, and that would be significant. So that's how that works. All right, MGZ, out.